traces, metrics, and logs, the famous three pillars of observability. The only problem is that they are not three pillars. So today in this video, we'll see why we should not refer to them as the three pillars, why we have been doing that, and how should we refer to them instead. But to do that, first we need to go back to the past, to those days before open telemetry. On those days, to start your observability journey, you would pick one APM, Application Performance Monitoring. You will find a vendor that you will negotiate pricing, licensing, whatever, and then will bring it in place. And for sure, you will realize that each vendor will approach the problem differently. You will realize that in one, you might find one approach that is leaning more into logs and another one more into tracing. So that would influence your decision because on that moment, likely you are only concerned with tracing or only concerned with metrics. So naturally you will start your journey with one of those three pillars. Let's say that it was tracing. So we will pick a tracing solution, a tracing APM, a vendor, and then you will implement it. And implementing it would be a vertical integration that will go from the instrumentation to the data format that is exchanged, the transport itself, until the moment of storing that data somewhere and analyzing it. That was a complete column, a vertical slice of your observability system. But now you want to see metrics in place. You have seen the value of having tracing. So now let's move to metrics and now let's start again, but you will realize that maybe the vendor that you have picked on the first place didn't have a good story for metrics. There's another solution or a new solution that everyone likes around metrics, so let's bring that one. So you add another pillar to your observability system and you do the same for locks. So now you have three end-to-end -end systems that will support your observability. They are three silos of information. So one of your APMs or maybe another one will come and will they will say that you need to support the three pillars of observability together, combined. Why? Because observability is telemetry, so the data plus analysis. It doesn't matter if it's tracing and metrics and tracing and logs, but when you combine everything, you have a clear picture of what is happening in your system. So we, as an industry, we came to the conclusion that we have built this three pillar system by accident. And we were losing so much on having data in isolation. So does that mean that we only have the three pillar system if we have every single thing in one place? No, that's not the point of this video. So let's dig deeper. We have been talking about tracing, metrics, and logging. Imagine that you are starting your observability journey. It's your big project for this year at your company, and you read somewhere that we have the three pillars of observability. Your natural tendency will be to believe that you need to have the three of them in order to succeed. Because if you have three pillars, they are supporting something. Can I do it with only one? Doesn't look like. And this is the beginning of the point that I want to make with this video. If you have been paying close attention, I have been mentioning them as tracing, metrics, and logs, because I'm ordering them according to importance. And often, tracing might be more than enough for the capabilities of observability that you want to have in place. So if I can pick only one of them, this idea of pillars might be misleading. And if they are not pillars, what should we call them? But before I go there, let me just use a few seconds to tell you that I'm working on a new course about open telemetry for .NET developers. And you can use the link in the description to be notified once it's available and have early access to promo codes. So we are talking about if they are not pillars, what are they instead? Tracing, metrics, and logs are not the pillars of your open telemetry implementation. They are in fact, signals. They are the core signals that you can use. Each one of them is kind of like a different lens that you can use to analyze something. And you can opt to use one lens or another one or even combine them, overlapping them and trying to build a story by combining them. And that's the power 
of telemetry data. But the simple fact that now we refer to them as signals, it will guide us to a better design. Why? Because it will not drive us to the idea that each element, each of those signals is a different thing, is something that we should treat in isolation. On the other hand, it will be clear to us that it's just one signal. We can opt to only look into one of them. We might only be interested on in using metrics or only tracing, and there's nothing wrong about that. Because realistically, observability is all about asking questions in order to understand our system. And that, in fact, can be done only with traces. Metrics and logs is something that can simplify the complete process of controlling and analyzing and monitoring the system. So in summary, I honestly believe that words have weight because a word like pillar can heavily influence the decisions that someone will take when adopting telemetry and open telemetry to apply observability in their day-to-day. -day. And keep in mind that once you go out there, you start looking for vendor documentation, obviously you will find mentioning that we have the three pillars of observability. But oddly enough, if you go to the open telemetry documentation, I think you will not find anything there. That's the reason for that. So I'm talking about this now. There's others that have been talking about this for a while and I think we need to start changing this because in the same way that in the past few years writing an application without logging seems crazy I honestly believe that in the following years in the upcoming years starting an application without open telemetry in place will also seems crazy so if there's any other thing about open telemetry that you would like to see me exploring on this channel please leave a comment and in the meanwhile YouTube really believes that you need to watch this video right here right now